hello guys welcome back to our youtube channel finally Olai Birunke, who is also known as the Dual heritage the latest band of being bullshit has finally been laid to the rest on the 15th of october 2021 being bullshit who has been away from social media since the demise of her husband Dudu heritage nollywood actresses and actors like shei edu mandy martins olaika solomon and other colleagues stormed the burden for the wake keep of being bullshit's husband recalling that the death of being bullshit's husband made headlines on monday 13th september 2021 and many of our colleagues took to our social media page to commensurate with the actress the likes of our state governor shane mckinley prominent golfers and celebrities from entertainment industry attended and studied the burial of Olai Birunke Dudu Heritage which happened on the 15th October. Birunke who was captain of Ibadan Golf Club until his death. It was reported to have slumped and died while playing golf on the 12th of September 2021. The vice captain of the club Tunjo Ladiso announced on Wednesday that the socialite who was the husband of Bimbo Shin, would be honored by golfers from all over the country, including Mark Inde, who is a member of the Badon Golf Club. He said, and I quote, We are planning an event for September 17th, but a few days before that, our captain passed on to be with the Lord. His burial activities begin on October 14th with Christian Wakeep and Night of Tribute. On Friday, there will be planting of trees which is our tradition for members at a time like this and a ceremonial tea of governor shane mckinley his cabinet members and other dignitaries will attend he was also into entertainment and celebrities are expected as well end quote this was its vice oladoso announcing the burial and funeral arrangement service which held at all saints church jericho ibano on friday the remains would be buried the same day Olai Birunke, who was still seen with few friends at practicing Blue Ikeja few days before his untimely death. He was also the captain, as mentioned earlier, and they were all planning to host an event for all of their past captains, which was supposed to take place before his death. According to the past captain, who still plays in the golf club, he said they just played together and it was very fit and healthy. And on that fateful day, he was about entering the Iska, that is the past captain, when they called him that Captain Olai Birunke had just slumped and they quickly tried to resuscitate him and rush him down to the hospital. But unfortunately, he died before they got to the hospital. I interest you to know that Dudu Heritage has a wife in the United States who he first got married to and they have four beautiful children together before he came down to Nigeria to relocate and start up his business and also got married to Bimba Hoshi who he has two beautiful children with also a boy and a girl. Initially, there isn't much known about the first wife, but after the demise of Olai Birunke, face has been put to the name Sholai Birunke, who happens to be Dudu Heritage's first wife. Dudu Heritage lived in the United States for many years as a music promoter before deciding to return to Nigeria to run a private business. It was, it was reported that he was also survived by an aged mother of 81 years old. This is so sad. Nobody wants to lose their children while they are alive. Every mother usually prays that this should take them in place of their children but this hasn't been the fate of Dudu Heritage's mother as she's still very much alive, ill and healthy. Unknown to many except for few people who are closer to the family, Dudu Heritage since his younger days has had two wives. His first wife Shola who lives in US as mentioned earlier and popular actress Bimbo she herself. A lot of people don't really know who Dudu Heritage is but the popular singers like Obesere and Kwamon sing their praises in the 90s. Well, they are both popular in the United States within the entertainment sector where he plays a big and big, big role as a music promoter. The first wife, Shola, is from the prominent family Oye Fesobi. Since the demise of her husband, many family and friends have trooped to her Facebook page to commensurate with her. Olai Birunke, who has four kids for late Olai Birunke, she's a mother of three boys and a girl. Two of her children happen to be twin. It may interest you to know that Shola Birunke is a top shot in the USA, where she has been for over 30 years. She has made so many impactful things. She's a business oriented lady and a certified behaviorist who supervise adolescents and adult home in need. She is also a court event that allow her to amplify her voice and display her genuine character. Shola is a beacon of light that stands for womanhood and active member of EWIP, Evolving Women in Politics USA chapter. She was also awarded for her philanthropic 
nature in church as a deaconess. It was also gathered in the report that Shola was a backbone to Dudu Heritage in his days of yore when he was making waves as the biggest music promoter in New Jersey. Shola and Dudu Heritage met each other when they were in high school and since then their love had boom and boom and boom before she became a dutiful wife to Dudu Heritage. How Dudu Heritage decided to come back to Nigeria to establish, she stood back and stayed to take care of her four kids, having also done well in her career over there. While Dudu Heritage was alive, in an interview where he was questioned why he moved down to Nigeria, he said, and I quote, you see, they say east, west, north, or south, home is the best. I say traveling in Alberta as survival. Most people who travel go there for greener pastures. They make use of the better part of what they had over there education, stability, and the rest of it. You could plan abroad. Here in Nigeria is very difficult. So, what now brought me back home? I have my children in America up till now. But when you are doing good in any business, you would want to come back home and establish. I'm not the type that wants to live all my life abroad. I enjoy going there now for holidays to check on my children and come back home. Then, age is no more on anybody's side. My first kid that I had in the US is going to 30 years old now. So I just felt with what I have been able to acquire, I would do better back in Nigeria and touch some souls. That was the main reason I came back. This was Dudu Heritage explaining and giving reasons why he came back to Nigeria to set up his business and was doing fine before his demise. Being bullshy on the other and got married to Dudu Heritage in 2015 after a few years of courtship and their marriage was blessed with two adorable children, Shegun, a boy, and Yanolua, a Bironke, a girl. Being bullshy needs no further in introduction as we all know that she's highly respected and loved in the Nollywood industry. She has been acting for a very long time and at a very young age. She revealed how they met and started their love story. Being Boshin described Dudu Heritage as a very intelligent man who is honest, humble, and easygoing, and also God-fearing. She said they dated for a while, saw the qualities in each other, and they decided to get married. They dated for three years, and she has known him since 2001. She mentioned where they met, which was Golden Gate, and was on the staircase. She said they greeted each other. She was coming down, and he was going going up they stopped and greeted each other and said hi and they took things from there this heritage who has lived a full and fulfilling life before his demise and passing away he has been able to touch all of the lives around him and made impactful things a lot of people have been saying great and wonderful things about him. The likes of o the likes of Obesere who do the heritage was once a promoter of his music cried profusely at the way keep of the heritage the way keep was star studded having so many dignitaries popular nollywood actresses and so many socialites in attendance the likes of talk by alabi and so many other gospel artists performed bringing to the remembrance and the mind of everyone that this life is so little and short and should be lived to the fullest. A branded t-shirt was worn by so many of the celebrities and Bimbo she herself and her children were seen wearing pure white to commemorate the event. Well guys our hearts are with the family of the Bureau and Cares. We pray that God continue to uplift and uphold the family and the heritage keeps going on well guys there you have it do not forget to like subscribe and drop your comments in the comment section below thank you bye